there, bosom buddies. I am back. Uh, it's Jairus. Jairus with a J plus Eris. Uh, yeah, so Lunasa is coming up on Sunday. And Sunday, Monday. Um, and or also Lamas in some traditions. Uh, it's the basically what that holiday is is a it's a holiday that rings in the beginning of the harvest season and it's a holiday that I've never really observed strictly I've probably farting around a little bit with my altar this weekend and that kind of stuff so when you celebrate the holiday that's what you're celebrating and that's something that I love because that means it's almost fall I'm so excited <laughs> It's like my favorite time of year. Summer is, I'm an ice cream maker. And so summer means that's my whole life. Um, and so I'm glad when summer's over because things get a little more chill and like I can do some extracurriculars or whatever. Also, if anyone can tell me how to say the word Lunasa. Lunasa. I used to call it Lunasa, but I don't know if that's correct. Um, Lamas is a little easier to say, and I guess that's the English holiday, and I'm mostly English, I think. English and Irish. And some other shit that I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so if anybody sees me saying that wrong and wants to correct me, that's cool. I have no idea how to say it. I just know that it's like a holiday at the end of summer that marks the beginning of fall. Or the beginning of the harvest season, not the beginning of fall. Really. Um, yeah, that's it.
purpose of 
this painting, there's not really a purpose, but with the inspiration of the holiday of uh, Llamas in mind, so pagan holiday to ring in the harvest season. And so what's happening is the sun god is dying, and goddess winter, or goddess nighttime, goddess uh, dark goddess is making her way back. Um, which will start in the fall. Um, but this can be seen with like the symbology of like the fruits and the plants being harvested and you know dying. Uh, yeah, so. And there's the goddess coming, swooping on down over the star so that, you know, because it's her time and she's got a little sort of a corn snake inspired snake <laughs> around her neck. Um, yeah, and it's the waning moon. The very sliver end of the waning moon. It's actually about to be the new moon, so. And there's a little sigil over there. Um, the ka I think I'm going to call this one um, Good Night Sun Harvest Comes. That's, I think, the name I'm going to give it for, like, uh, Etsy purposes and st stuff like that. Uh, speaking of, I do have an Etsy shop. My Etsy shop is at www.etsy.com slash shop slash Mountain Witch Arts. So come check it out. And if you like it, you know, hey, I got stuff. You can have stuff for dollars. Even if you can't afford anything, you can like the stuff um, on the shop or favorite the shop. And that'll be, that'd be great. <clears throat> uh, thanks for watching. Sorry the end of the video got cut off or the end of the painting drawing thing got cut off um like i said i gotta or i don't know if i mentioned this uh friday i was out of work because i got an extraction done to one of my molars so a molar got pulled out of my face and it was pretty rough it took like an hour and it was painful and so i've just been resting at home uh on medication <laughs> so Sorry if things are a little choppy, but I still wanted to get the video out. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, be sure and like the video if you like it. Or, you know, subscribe to the channel. Like having followers. Uh, yeah, and that's it. I hope you have a great night. Thank you very much. Hope you had a great holiday and blessed be. Bye.